giving it. Sounds good. <laughs> so look in Photoshop. Um, so this will be the base. Now the letters, the letters, when you uh, drag and drop them here, they will take up the whole space in the same image. But what you need to ultimately do is you need to take the layer with the image uh, of the uh, of the number or letter or whatever it is. You gotta clean it up. Uh, set, uh, delete, uh, add, uh, select. Uh, okay, one second. Layer view. Select inverse, I think, and layer view. Copy. Right here we go. So we've got a clean letter here. All right. Yeah. And now, if we put it on the background, it's too big. So what we need to do is we need to scale it, put it in the location number one, and then put it, leave it there. Then we take the second uh, letter that you have, uh, and uh, we will do the same thing with it. So we will position it. Um, okay, we will clean the background from it as well. Uh, Select inverse, layer view copy, and uh, here we go, we have the second letter too. So what we'll do is we will, we can delete the letters that we do not need right away so that we do not get confused because you will have like a, a lot of letters, a lot of layers, you can group them too. So. Now this letter, what you do is you position here as well, you scale it to fit in the same spot, right? So now we have uh, the background, the first letter, the second letter in position number one. So after this, you, what you need to do is you, you disable all the layers except for the layer that you want to save. You can also create a custom script for it or like automation tools, things like that. So it has okay. the same size. Uh, as the main layer and you can see that um, it's um, it's a big uh, transparent image with the letter in the location where you want it so when you overlay I see. It on I see. the uh, chain it will be in the right position and it has to be a, a PNG image because PNG keeps transparency so after that you save it uh, to your um, to your whatever folder and uh, you can uh, create for example group one position one or position one right mm -hmm. uh, position one and then you save everything to the same folder then you go to the second layer do the same thing now it will be faster so we pretty much just save it uh, the letter right so this will be one and uh, that's it and then the base layer is already the correct size so what you do after that is after you're done with one positioning what you do is you select all the layers that you will have stacked up here 30 yes. letters or so and then you just move all of them to the second position and then you export them one by one again using a script or manually so oh, that's I do makes not, the most sense. Yeah. yeah i do not deny that there is manual work involved but this is so far the the you know the best that we could have come up with uh, yeah yeah without creating an extraordinarily complex application this is the best way to do it right so here you go and then what you do in your product page uh, so you will create um, so depending on how the logic will go uh, will for example so depending on um, the logic like will you allow selecting only one position two positions or all of three positions will be always enabled um, you will uh, set up custom uh, conditional logic for example in um, in the in this example that uh, we showed uh, there all all letters are right away av available but there is another Mm -hmm. option yeah. here where you can select the position that you're customizing so here for example you can uh, customize or skip the charms but ultimately they're expecting you to fill in everything right you can mm -hmm. select yeah. space same way or none so all of these are just images that are overlaid on top of the belt in the exact position in the same way I just showed you in the in Photoshop 
And then here in this example, you can select how many charms you want to have first before you, you kind of see their positions. And why they do that is because they want the first charm to be located in some specific spot. Yes. And they only want to allow you, like they charge you based on the amount and number of uh, charms that you add. So if you have less charms, then it's cheaper price, more charms, more expensive price. Yes. And uh, so here is the, absolutely the same thing. They did the same thing in Photoshop uh, chain and then um, uh, letter, letters that are overlaid and uh, some additional images. So let's see mm, on, um, on this test product that you have. Let's assume that all three, uh, all three letters uh, will be used. So we will create sure. a category and we will call it position one. And it will be type, it can be a drop down or image thumbnail. So if it's image thumbnail, for example, yeah, centered what you and, need to and take space. care of also yeah. is uh, when it's um, when it's a thumbnail, the image sure. usually is uh, uh, sure. is uh, full full size, and uh, it should be exported as uh, yeah. uh, use a drop down center, anyway. and center and right. And when it's exported, what how you should export it is 150 it. pixels, for example, at max, because you don't want to use up bandwidth to load thumbnails that will be very small in size, right? Yeah, so we'll this probably use a drop down anyway. Yeah. Okay. So this thumbnail will be uh, 150 pixels or 100 pixels, you know. Got it. And um, so if we continue on your product. Um, uh, here we go, edit options, new option, and then we will have one, for example. So we have only one view with you, so here we will upload the image. Uh, okay, I saved it in a different folder. Done. So number one, yeah. for example, yeah. right? so we will save everything. this. Oh, I, I guess I saved it too big. Uh, yeah, so when you save it is a, as a 24, uh, PNG 24, it, it's too big. Yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll compress will everything. Free transform, free transform. So what I'll do is I'll just export it again, save PNG. Ah, uh, okay. So the app is looking for the extension, all right. If we try it now, it should work. One PNG. Yeah, nice. So here it is. So what will happen if I upload the same image now into the thumbnail? It will just look weird. It will be a small image in the small little corner. So I will use one of your images that you sent. So this image will just go here. Right. And uh, that's it. So save at the bottom. Do not click save at the top. Just Got click it. save at the top at the end of the session. Okay. And uh, that's it. So one, we click one, shows here. So we can do the same for position two and three. And then you will have icons here for each letter. So this is kind of how it can be done. Instead of image thumbnails, it can be a drop down or text yeah. input. So not text input, but text list. So you can just have. Uh, uh, you know, like, like that. This. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Makes perfect sense. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, it's very, very clear.